Rocket Lab's Electron Rocket can deliver a 250kg payload into a 500km orbit and that for 4.9 million dollar per launch. Equally unconventional like the payload size and the price tag is the rocket engine of the Electron Rocket. Electron's Rutherford engine is the first electric pump fed engine that powers an orbital rocket. All of the engine parts are 3D printed. This has a time and money saving advantage for the manufacturing. The first stage Rutherford engine is producing 24 kN of thrust and has a specific input of 311 seconds. For example, the SpaceX Merlin engine has only a specific input of 261 seconds. So, what makes the Rutherford engine so extraordinary? It is simply this. The fuel is brought into the combustion chamber through electrical pumps. That differs from traditional rocket engine designs in which the pumps are driven by a portion of the input propellant. In the left sketch you can see that the pumps are powered by an electric motor with electricity from a battery bank. The electric pump can pressurize the fuel from 29 psi to 2900 psi, which is on a high pressure combustion chamber level. In the right picture you can see a sketch of SpaceX Raptor engine. This comparison makes clear how much simpler the structure of the Rutherford engine is. Now, what are the advantages of the Rutherford engine? The use of electric pumps avoids the need of heavy tanks capable of holding high pressures and the high amount of gas needed to pressurize them. Also does Rocket Lab claim that the electric pump fed cycle engine improves the efficiency from 50% of a typical gas generator cycle to 95%. Furthermore, the development and manufacturing costs of the Rutherford engine are lower. But the biggest advantage is the mechanical simplicity, because a simplification in science is always an improvement. Moreover, the engine is through that easier to control. Finally, there is also the fact that the rocket engine improves when the battery technology advances. And today the battery market is a highly competitive place, which makes it even more possible that there is a huge innovation in this field in the nearest future. This would diminish the only disadvantage of the Rutherford engine the increased mass through the heavy battery packs. What do you think of the Rutherford engine system? Is it one of the future key technologies or just a weird idea? Also, please tell me in the comments what I could do better in the next video. I like feedback. Please consider subscribing.